This video considers direct infringement of part 3 works other than by reproduction. Reproduction is considered in a separate video. The exclusive rights of part 3 copyright owners are also set out in a separate video. A work can be infringed by a person exercising the publication right without the copyright owner's permission. The definitions of publish in section 29 of the Act do not control the meaning of the words to publish in section 31 for the purposes of infringement. Instead, it was held in Avil and Multicoin Amusement that to publish in section 31 means to make public in Australia something which has not previously been made public. Thus, this is a right of first publication. It is not an infringement of this right, therefore, to republish something that has already been made public, though it may be an infringement of the reproduction right. It is also an infringement to communicate a work to the public without permission or legal excuse. The communication right was introduced to the Copyright Act by the Digital Agenda Amendments in the year 2000. Communicate is defined in Section 10 to mean make available online or electronically transmit whether over a path or a combination of paths provided by a material substance or otherwise. It includes a performance or live performance. This definition covers cable transmissions and making copyright material available online such as uploading it to the internet. The communication must be to the public. This may be a small public, but it will involve more than, for example, forwarding an email to a single recipient, though this may be an infringement of the reproduction right. Generally, wherever the communication right is implicated, the reproduction right will be as well. Section 22 sub 6 provides that a communication is taken to have been made by the person responsible for the content of the communication. This means that a person or organisation who facilitates the communication but is not responsible for the communication's content, such as an internet service provider, will not infringe the communication right. For literary, dramatic or musical works, it is an infringement to make an adaptation of the work without permission or legal excuse. Adaptation is defined in section 10 to include a dramatization of a non-dramatic literary work or vice versa, a translation, a pictorial version of a literary work, an arrangement or transcription of a musical work and a version of a computer program. Also for works other than artistic works, it is an infringement to perform the work in public. Performance includes any mode of visual or oral presentation, whether by radio, film, record or otherwise, and includes performance by lecture or speech. The performance must be to the public. This does not include private or domestic performances. The public performed to does not have to be large, however. In APRA and Commonwealth Bank of Australia, playing a training video to 11 employees was a public performance of the background musical work. In Telstra and APRA, Music broadcast to persons who were on hold on their phones was transmitted to the public even though the public might be small. Lastly, it is an infringement to enter into an unlicensed commercial rental arrangement with respect to sound recordings or works reproduced therein, such as literary or musical works, or for computer programs. The rental arrangement must be commercial so it is not an infringement to lend out a recording or program without requiring payment. The provision does not extend to computer programs embodied in a machine or device, such as a washing machine or similar electronic machine that uses a program to function. 
The rental arrangement right does not apply to films or works reproduced therein, so cannot be used to control the rental market for DVDs.